Hey, Katie here from Simply Earth, here to share a recipe with you on how to make tension relief bath bombs. These bath bombs are a great way to add luxury to your self-care routine. They're a lot of fun. They're formulated to help with stress and tension relief. Here's what you'll need. A half a cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of cornstarch, a quarter cup of Epsom salts, a quarter cup of citric acid, one tablespoon of goat milk powder, and two tablespoons of coconut oil that I've already melted, water, it's helpful if it's in a spray bottle, a bath bomb mold, five drops of patchouli essential oil, three drops peppermint essential oil, and two drops of clove essential oil. Now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together. The baking soda is going to help the bath bomb react to the water to create that fun fizz and it's also going to help detox your skin. The cornstarch is going to make your bath have that silky feeling and it's going to help hold the bath bomb together. The Epsom salt is great for your muscles to help relax and release tension. The citric acid is derived from plants and it's going to create that fizz. The goat's milk is going to really nourish your skin and help repair any skin damage you might have. Now I'm going to mix my oils. So to my two tablespoons of coconut oil, which is really nourishing for the skin, it's also going to help hold the bath bomb together. I've already melted it and now I'm going to add my essential oils. These essential oils are great for calming and relieving tension. I'm gonna give these a quick mix so that they're blended together. And then I'm gonna add it to my dry mixture. Once you've mixed it, you want it to reach the consistency of wet sand so that it'll clump in your hand just like this. But you don't want it to be too wet, otherwise you'll get kind of a solid, weird bath bomb. So I didn't have to add any water to mine, it's the right consistency, but you might find that you need to spray some water into it to reach that consistency. And you'll want to stir as you add it. Now I'm going to put it into my bath bomb. I'm going to loosely pack it into each side so that there's a small mound on either side. I'm not going to wham it in there. Just gently pack it so that they are overflowing. And then I'm going to put them together and force them to come together until their edges line up. I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes before removing it from the mold so that I can hold its shape. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining mixture to make my second bath bomb. Now I'm gonna remove it from my mold. You wanna be really gentle so it doesn't fall apart. And voila, this is one of my favorite recipes I've made and had the most success with. So you have a beautiful bath bomb. To use it, you're gonna pop it into your bath and it's gonna make a really fun fizz and it's gonna smell great and it's gonna be really good for your skin, helping relieve stress and tension. Let's drop it in. So much foam! This essential oil recipe is featured in our December recipe box. So subscribe today, you'll get all the oils you need and the special ingredients to make these amazing bath bombs. Go and make your home more natural.